Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel here. This is Future Trading with Mike. What I have on my chart here is uh, the charts of, excuse me, my monitors here are the charts of the S&P 500. That's the, this is the E-mini, the ES that I'm trading here that I always do on my channel here. And basically what I'm gonna be explaining today is just some, some mistakes, some crazy mistakes that uh, day traders, beginning day traders, or people who are or just starting out trading. So uh, beginner day traders make when trying to figure out how to trade. And basically my two biggest uh, tips that I can give you in trading, especially if, you, if, you're, if you're a beginner, it's like I always say guys, uh, two things that I that helped me along the way that I found out that uh, a lot of people don't actually do. One of the biggest mistakes, one, one big mistake is that people do not take the time to understand the market structure, okay? The market structure, that means overall what the market is trying to do. You've got to know what the market has done in the past to know what it may possibly do in the future or the present. And that's paying close attention to market structure. You have to identify the market structure. The market, the market is always changing, it, it's, it's evolving. It's, it's like a human being. I mean, it, it, it to me, it kind of has its own emotion. It, it, it has its you know, ebbs and flows, its ups and downs, if you want to say. Um, so it's always it's always evolving. Uh, so market structure, number one, is one of the biggest mistakes that people fail to learn and understand. And you have to understand and know what's going on in the market to be able to trade. Um, number two, I'm going to, I'm, I'm basically I've been saying this over and over and over, the key to the success in trading it's going to be price action. You have to know price action. Price action is um, extremely important because price action tells you basically what the market has already done or what, and then possibly what it can do. So basically, it helps you set up your levels, your support resistance or supply and demand levels. So once the market starts to, uh, once price action starts moving, once you get the movements in price, that is kind of like stair steps. You know, you can kind of see what happened before and then you know you can look at what price is going to do so that's price action following the steps that price is actually making in order to redraw to, to go back to go back and draw levels that are will clearly help you uh identify good locations to trade from and that's what i do day in day out on my channel guys is pretty much i trade price action but first before i excuse me start looking at the markets i always go to my charts and i look to see what the market structure is what has happened in the market you know um and then I start to identify and looking at price action. You know, once once I'm ready to start uh, really focusing on levels. Um, so basically, what I do is, you know, I'm looking at market structure. I say, okay, uh, this is what the market's done. Let's see what the market possibly going to do once the market opens. And then I'm starting to follow price action. But I've already identified some levels. So, you know, the craziest, like I said, the craziest things that uh, day trading beginners fail to do. Um, it th that's you know understand price. Excuse me, understand market structure understanding and a price action um you know it's not a green it's not a real light green light uh you know um type of thing you, you have to understand and it, it's it's not a science it, it takes time it takes patience it's, it's an art it's a craft just like some people go to trade school to learn a particular you know craft it's the same thing trading is the same thing it's just you have to spend time research and put your due diligence in to understand what the market is actually trying to do spend the time spend the time to understand the market that you're trading. If you can basically understand market structure, how to read market structure and understand price action, then you'll be well on your way to pretty much trading any market. I don't care if it's, if it's option stocks, you know, it doesn't really matter what you trade in futures. Uh, it doesn't matter, you know. Um, my style of trading, how I stay out, my style of trading, how, how I trade, my strategy, I can trade any market. I'm a price action pullback trader, so I'll wait for prices to do what it's going to do and then pull back to certain levels and then wait, wait for the price to react. So two big things to avoid or stay away from um, is, you know, mentally, do not allow yourself to not understand market structure. You have to understand market structure, you know, um, avoid you know, just not taking the patience or the time to understand market structure. Avoid not understanding, you know, st stay away from those that, you know, show you how to trade without reading price action. You know, avoid all those videos out there because price action is the key. It is the golden rule. You have to know what price is doing. So avoid, 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 and stay away from, stay away from 
you know, videos or, or people that, that, that try to sell you something to show you a different way of trading and just use this strategy and you'll, be, you'll become successful. You have to understand price tags. You have to understand the basics to be able to trade. So avoid the crazy mistakes that, that, you know, that most people fall into. I fell into it at the beginning, you know, trying to find a quick, uh, a quick way, a quick scheme of being able to uh, become profitable or make money in the market and not understanding the basic concepts. Okay. So we're going to look at the market here now. It is the ES. We are, this is me live trading the ES every single day, guys. And, um, so this is what it is. Okay. So we'll see what type of trade that we could possibly get in today. But in this video right here, I just wanted to, you know, uh, basically show you guys that, you know, or explain to you guys about, you know, uh, mistakes to avoid. You know, and that's, you know, you must understand market structure. Let me explain to you what market structure is. You know, market structure, um, here's the thing about market structure, okay? Here's a 60 minute chart, okay? Market structure is to, it's like the, it's like making a, a an artist that takes a painting and wants to, or, or makes a painting, creates a painting. The market is doing that. Look at my chart here. The market is actually painting a picture, a representation for us to follow, a guide, a GPS. Got it? All right. So the market here is, you know, pushing higher, pushing higher, pushing higher. Then it has this sell off. Okay. There is some structure that's going on here. There is a base, a foundation that's being laid here. It helps you understand uh, what the market has done. Once it starts making these movements, you, you, you quickly start to see what the market has done, you know, and then it pulls back or moves back to areas where, you know, the, the picture has been painted, you know? So the market pushes higher back uh, latter part of June uh, to the middle part of July, okay? We're pushing higher here, okay? All right, so then the market starts selling off, okay? Market structure, a foundation has been created for those that know how to trade to possibly start marking their charts for levels. The structure is there now, the foundation is there for you to try to make a profit. You just have to know where to lay your, or where to mark your key identified uh, levels, okay? That is market structure. Understanding the movements, understanding the, the what's being built, the foundation, um, you know, it's like those out there that play, say, 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 say for instance, like Fortnite, you know, you're, you're building a, a, a creating a uh, foundation. They're, they're constantly building, building, building for protection or whatever the case is, or building, 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 trying to uh, get to the end goal of protecting themselves and taking out their component. You know, it's the same thing kind of in a sense, you know, it, the market structure's here, 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 you know, you see it being built, built, built. And then at some point it's, you, you go into attack mode to where, you know, the market comes back to a certain area where there is a level at and clearly volume at, same thing. Then you start to attack the opponent. It's a waiting game. You wait for the reaction and boom, you know, you take that trade. Same thing kind of in a sense, but just understand market structure. It's, it's, it's like, you know, Building a house, a layer upon layer, you have to have the foundation first and then everything else follows in the case. So um, in, in the end, it's just like once the foundation is layered, laid and then the structure is built, then you can come back to it and then you know what you're doing. You know, you know where to mark your identified levels at. So this, this, once the foundation and structure is being built here, market structure, then you can start, you see all these levels, um, levels below here. Um, so if the market comes back to certain areas, you'll know where to start putting, you know, market levels at. So market structure is is, is very important. Uh, price action. Price action is just, you know, being able to follow price movements. It's, it's, you know, the ebbs and flows, the ups and downs, ups and downs. So that's what you follow when, you know, throughout the day, if you're a day trader, you're looking to, to, to see price action. Not even as a day trader, it could be swing trading. But it's, it's a matter of of looking at your charts identifying at the current time, say for instance, or even in the past, you know, uh, price action here, you can see price action, you know, continue pushing up here. Um, but to me, price action, the way I read, I'm looking at uh, what the mark, what the market has already done, that's with market structure. And then I look at the market structure and then I start saying, okay, as a price action trader, I'm looking to see now what the market's gonna do as far as price action movements. And so from there, I start looking at, uh, my chart, this is a higher, higher time frame, guys, the 60 minute chart. So this is a one hour chart. But here clearly price pulls back. You know, we I have levels sitting out here um, to where 
you know, price is probably going to possibly react it. So, you know, just say for instance, right here, if I was a, a, a trader, a swing trader, a position trader, and I saw price moving higher, 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 breaking levels here, you see these levels are major levels, price pushed down, pull back, push down, pull back, push, push even lower. So when price turns back around, it's going to take out these swings that it was taken to the downside. So when price pull, pulls higher, market structure is being created. And then when price pulls back to the set, to, uh, to levels where, say for instance, where it was pushing higher, taking out these levels to the upside, I'm looking for a level at this point to where at some swing level, price took these levels out. So when price, price, excuse me, when price returns to these levels, hmm, where is price possibly going to uh, make a bounce at? Well, right here, say for instance, right here. So when price turned back around, pushed up, it pulled back, it pulled up higher, taking out this swing level here, right? Okay. So here was a level right here. Okay. This was the, the low end of this swing to the downside. Price turns back around, takes this level out as it's pushing higher. It pulls back, back to this level here, which was, you know, pretty much the, the candle or the low end of this swing that, um, uh, when the price was pushing lower. So when it turns back around, retakes this level here out to the upside, I'm looking for price to pull back and I have a level marked here. So if you see that, boom, price comes down to the T right here, you know, within a few points, maybe a, this is a 60 minute charts, but pretty much right on the money here. And then you got a big move to the upside. So if you're a swing trader, a position trader, I mean, you're taking that ride and that's a mega, mega move right there to where you can make a uh, huge potential profits, guys. Um, so this is, you know, I, I'm not a swing or position trader. Um, can I do it? Yes. I, but I like to day trade. I, I'm pretty much in the market, out the market, scalping for, for a few ticks or a few points, whatever the case is. And then I'm looking for my next setup, meaning waiting for the next, uh, you know, waiting for price action, waiting for a pullback. So I'm a price action pullback trader. But I just wanted to explain this video, guys, right here, just about market structure and about price action. There has to be structure for you to be able to follow price action. There has to be structure because... Market structure, like I said, is the is the structure or the foundation that's being built, the 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 project, so you know, so to say, that's being built. And once it's created, you know, once that structure is created, then you have something into reference, meaning levels to go back and mark on your charts, and then you start following, you start using price action to um um, you know, guide you the rest of the way as far as, you know, how you should trade or where you should take trades from, or, you know, once you've got those levels marked, price comes back to it. I'll wait for the reaction. And then, you know, once price fails or reacts at a certain level and then boom, I'm in the market. That's just, that's how I trade. I'm a pullback price action trader. So that's what I want to, to basically explain this video guys is to, to explain to you, you know, avoid those, uh, two of the biggest mistakes out there to, you know, that, uh, that people fail to, um, understand, you know, two, the two biggest mistakes to me is not being able to understand market structure and not being able to understand price action. Got to wrap those around your belt. You got to get a psychology, you know, that, that psychological piece in your mind. You got to take the time, the patience and, the, and do the research and understanding how the market works. Guys, I want to I thank everyone for watching this video. I'm going to jump into my live trading here, uh, here shortly. And I want to go ahead and create this video just to throw it out there to let you know and I'm telling you this, and and I, you can watch me live day trade every single day. So this is just a, a, a video I want to put out there, informational vi information video I want to put out there about um, mistakes to avoid, mistakes to stay away from, stay away from people or, or uh, so-called individuals that say they can teach you how to trade without teaching you the basic concepts, the basics, the most important things, and that is market structure and price action. Okay, so um, I'm here to, if you watch my videos, you'll see me uh, price action trade every single day. And, and you know, I'll kind of recap and show what the market's done, the market structure, and then, um, you know, you'll start seeing me price action trading. So I thank everyone for watching the video, guys. If you like the video, please make sure to drop me a like, hit that thumbs up button, and uh, please share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And also watch my live trade, my live day trading videos, guys. They're posted to my channel where you can see me live trading. No edits, no fluffs, 
straight raw footage of me actually capturing and showing you my trades. I'm going to go back and show you. You know, I don't do a recording and then do any voiceovers. I'll go back and show you where I took a trade from. You see me actually live taking my trades right here, sitting at my seat in front of my desk. I have a webcam that's, you know, pointed to the direction of my monitors, and you see my monitor. So I'm in the video, and you see me actually live day trading, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, guys. Thank you, and see you in the next video. Take care.